So for today, we're going to be looking at the Virtua set for the Warlocks. If you guys don't know, we've already reviewed the Hunter and Titan ones. They're both right here. You can definitely check them out. Really, really cool sets. I really like a lot of them. For the review and shader video, they're both right here. And we go over how it looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts. And for the shader video, we go over all of my favorite shaders. Because if I went through all of my shaders, I would most likely fall asleep because I have a lot. So... I am really excited because I am currently updating Destiny 2 so that way I can play Into the Light. And man, the things that we saw today, I didn't mention it in the Titan video, but there were so many things they mentioned in the, uh, the live stream, the last one. And I'm probably going to make a video on it because it was wild. But I will be looking at all of the virtuous pieces for the Warlocks and making individual sets for them. And this one is really, really cool. Not prop, not like at the level of the Hunter video, because I think all of them were amazing. You know what? Actually, it might be at that level, because I, I was looking through some of these, and I was like, damn, I was cooking with some of these. But I definitely think the Titans have the lowest one. But I think the Hunter and Warlocks ones, I think they're like equally as good. So let me know what you guys think about these sets. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. It really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So hit the bell notification as well because I do think my content is worth it. Other than that, let's look at the first set. So for this one, we're going to be using the Virtuous Hood with the Chimera Sting ornament for the Necrotic Grips. So for the chest piece sunlight robes or sunlit robes i should say for the boots hawk fury's boots and then for the bond technologic bond so for the shader and precursor of x chrome so this one is more of a general type of look that i was going for and honestly as much as i like this one i would honestly switch out the virtuous hood out because mm, you know what i probably would just switch out the shadering i don't know why i chose precursor of x chrome because I usually like to match colors and the virtuous hood has that purple um, that purple slot that doesn't change color and I probably should have just switched it out for a shader that does that I probably did that because maybe there's some shadering differences but either way I really like how this one came out let me know what you guys think about this one as for the next set we're gonna be using the virtuous boots now the virtuous boots is a piece that I use almost obsessively to the point where I kind of have to like remind myself not to use it as much because I think they're amazing boots. This set surprisingly is really, really dope. So for the exotic, we're going to be using Mantle of Battle Harmony for the helmet cunning of the contender hood for the arms, virtuous gloves with the virtuous boots as well. And then for the bond street scholar bond. So for this one, I ended up going for, uh, I don't, I don't know how to explain this one because the shadering Vanguard distinction, I never have used this shader and I love how the shader looks specifically on plate. I think I would go more for plate armor for this one, but damn, does this look cool? I love the fact that, uh, the cloth goes really well with each other. The chest piece has the lines on that cloth and then the same thing for the arms and the boots. The shadering just looks amazing as well. Like overall, I think this one might be the best one so far. I mean, don't get me wrong. The first one's really cool. This one just feels like it's a whole set. Like this feels like someone at Bungie designed all of this and it looks amazing. Let me know what you guys think about this one for sure. As for the next set, I have done this one a few times. Uh, just the difference would be that I would be using the virtuous boots instead of the virtuous robes, which is why I switched it out because I was like, I've, I've done that set before. I kind of want to do something new kind of because we're using the virtuous robe with celestial cover break tech researcher boots which i probably should have switched out for something else and the liminal voyager bond so for the shading first frost because the eyes of mercury ornament for the sun bracers does not change color which is why i go in real hard with that color so i definitely think this is one of my favorite looks i would honestly just switch out the boots for something else um or just go back to the old look that i did for the eyes of mercury which would be virtuous road or virtuous boots with something else for the chess piece and honestly i don't think that would be a bad thing just because i feel like that would be a lot better because the break tech researcher boots looks a little too small for this one but yeah let me know what you guys think about this one because i i like it i really do like it like the liminal voyager bond would also be one that i would be staying as well it's just the chest piece and the boots that would switch out because Celestial Cover, I think, looks amazing. That being said, I wouldn't be opposed to switching that for something else as well. And then last but not least, we have Sun Bracers again, but without the ornament. And this one came out amazing. So for the helmet, Scaldic Chant Hood. For the exotic, again, Sun Bracers. For the chest piece, Don Singer Robes. 
with the shadow broker boots and then virtuous bond so honestly for this one carminica was an easy choice just because i wanted some orange in there to combine with the don singer robes and the sun bracers so the virtuous bond i rarely make a whole set around a bond but this one came out just insanely good the helmet looks really really cool especially when you see that it's like a feathered helmet and then the the bond is also feathered i just think this looks amazing um the boots and the chest piece look so good together i mean honestly i think this one might be the best one there's just so many good ones with one of them being like it's cool it's not bad but the other ones are just on such a different level that the first one just looks kind of bad in comparison so let me know what you guys think i really had a lot of fun with these hopefully i posted these before the weekly reset because this is your last week to get the virtuous set once this week is over that's it it's over we might we don't know when they're coming back so i'm usually a, like really a the older content creator that was fixed tony back then would be super disappointed in me now because i buy armor sets for money but and i would usually be against buying armor but for this one the virtuous set it's just such a great set for all the classes that i would just highly suggest you guys pick it up so let me know what you guys think let me know what you guys would like me to post as well because i'm currently back on a destiny 2 grind because a into the light is out uh the the live stream that we saw today was just so obscenely good that it just kind of has revitalized my love for the game so i will be playing it more than i was because to put it in perspective last week was iron banner i played more destiny 2 that week than i have in the past like two months i think so that should kind of showcase just how bad i was not playing destiny 2 so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys remember into the light is out i'm gonna be making an armor set review for that i'm also probably gonna try to do some weapon reviews as well just because again i want i would like to go back into making just more general content for destiny 2 and not just stick to fashion so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i will see you guys later